Hi, and thanks for tuning in to the Fashionista Life brought to you by True Fashionistas. I am your host, Jennifer Johnson, and today we are with Kelly Rodrig, and she is a designer. Welcome, Kelly. Hello. Thank you for having me. So excited to talk about today's topic, which is design. It's my thing. It is your wheelhouse. It's your thing. It is. It's not my thing, so I'm sure I will have questions (laughs) as we go along because my husband tells me that when I you know, do something. Mm -hmm. I get my head set on doing one thing. I love Mm -hmm. this one look like, let's say it's shabby chic, right? Our whole house is that. (laughs) We'll talk about that. So Kelly, tell everybody, all of our listeners, what it is you do, how you got started in doing this. Okay. And, um, you know, why you do this? Yeah. Well, first and foremost, I want to say thank you for having me on here. So years ago, um, my sister had told me, you've got to check out this resale store in Naples. So I came over and we did it and I was like, oh my gosh. So it's been an honor to get to know you personally and work with you. And I'm just so grateful you had me on today. Thank you. And likewise. Oh, well, thank you. So All right. As I say, before kids, the BK word, um, I actually was in the construction remodeling industry. I worked with insurance companies and insurance ingesters on anything from fire, water, any of the damage we tore it out. We build it back and worked with homeowners. Which I have to say is so cool. Woman in construction. I know it it was pretty funny. I got some crazy looks when the guys are like, well, we've got to climb in the attic or we've got to climb on the roof. I'm like, all right, let's go. And they're like, what? She's really wanting to do this. She's okay with this. (laughs) I know. I'm like, I'm right there along with you. Because people don't expect that. They That's don't. Why. I know. So no, they did. I mean, I had to kick off the heels and put the tennis shoes on and <laughs> climb the ladder, but they were just, you know, I got, I did get some interesting looks and it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. So, um, fast forward uh, many more years than <laughs> no, I would uh, like to think about. I won't say how many. Exactly. <laughs> and, um, we moved down here with my husband's job. And my sister actually owns a very large real estate here, uh, company here in Naples. Um, She's actually the number one uh, real estate team in Southwest Florida, which is exciting. I know, but she has for years, well, almost two decades, gotten tried to get me to do real estate. And I've told her, I don't know how many times this is not my thing. It's and she's like, but I want to work together. I'm like, it's not my thing. Move on. It's not going to be this. No, it's not. And so she came to me. Actually, she had a business coach and she had talked to her business coach about, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that. And she says, you need to you need to slow down. There's no way you can do this. The only way you can do is if you duplicate yourself. <laughs> And she and went as business owners. We all know that. You know, right. And she's like, and you can't duplicate yourself. And she looked at her and she goes, oh, no, no, oh, I, I, I can. <laughs> and she goes, what? And she goes, I have my sister. So then she came over and she's like, I have this idea before. It's not real estate. And so I said, OK, what's your idea? So she went through the whole thing on staging houses for her real estate team. And I thought, okay, I can get behind this because it's back to doing what I loved to do. And then it's just gone gangbusters from and there. When you do what you do, what you love, yes. you're never working a day in your life. No, right? and, and- I know. I'm just so grateful for the customers and the agents we get. To, I mean, it's just, it's truly like, you know, you joke around, you like skip to do your things and mm-hmm. you know, some days. I'll, I'll skip along because it's so much fun. <laughs> and other days we're crawling, right? Well, because yeah, I know. And it's you know. 930 at night and we're still uh, still out right. helping customers. So, yeah, you know, that's all part of owning your own business. It right. Is. We've been it there. Is, it is. Absolutely. Totally yep. The- and so now today you're you're staging homes and yes. designing and yep. you have so exactly, I know you stage, right? And you stage to sell homes and that kind of thing. Exactly. But the, the process, like mm-hmm. you, you also do, um, somebody comes in and says, you know, I want to remodel something. Absolutely. So we get that a lot. And we also work with the agents, uh, because sometimes quite frankly, if a kitchen's outdated the agent will come to me and say, Hey, listen, I think I can get these guys, you know, 70,000, 50,000, whatever the number is more, if we do some updates to the house and I know they're willing to do it, can you go with me so we can see, because they'll show them the comps, they'll show them a old house and an updated house and what the numbers are. And people are more likely to invest in that because so they can get that higher number. Um, it's just, it makes more sense. So even if you put 20 in and you can sell it for 70, you still have a profit of $50,000 more. Are there, you know, now that we're talking kind of about mm-hmm. that and we, is there a way that you can do little things. Absolutely. So it's like, you know, I don't want to spend 50,000, but what can we do here to update it enough? I tell people all the time, paint goes a long way and new light fixtures and those, and they don't have to be crazy expensive either. I mean, I think that's, what's a little different about us, especially in Naples, Florida, is we work with 
any and all price points and any and all budgets because not everybody can afford it, but they want that high look. And so we go, we kind of help those clients and source them and, and really truly want them to maximize every single potential in their home. So we'll go through and help them, whatever their, whatever their budget is, whether it's a, you know, I think half a million dollar house to, you know, we just um, help stage a house over in Moorings, which is almost 8 million. So we will go either way. Yep. And you know, like I'm looking at my kitchen, Uh my kitchen needs new, I have granite. Right. And it's, (laughs) (laughs) um, I, I don't love it. It's right. It's, it just, I don't like it. Yeah. Um, and oak cabinets, but you could right. paint your cabinets. A hundred percent. That's another way. If it's, if they're in good, decent shape and they're wood, absolutely. We paint cabinets all day long. Mm-hmm. So typically when we go in, it's anywhere from painting cabinets to new hardware. I mean, new hardware, oh, heck yeah. you can go on Amazon and find some fantastic deals they don't have to be a lot of money and then they'll go in and put them on. You can put them on the homeowner mm-hmm. can, you know, but there's, there's definitely some things that are easy and simple. You can do to really update, update your home. Cool. Yeah, I know. So what, there, I'm sure there are questions, right? That you always get. Yes. You know, I, I don't know. Let's chat about some of them okay. because, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're, mm-hmm. there's stuff that you get all the time that you're like, I, I should just have it. <laughs> A checklist, right? (laughs) Yeah. So the first thing usually when we walk into someone's house, and again, we're walking in because the agent has brought us in because they realize that they could benefit from staging. Mm -hmm. So the first question is, okay, but how much is this going to cost me? Oh, I'm sure that's the number one It's the number one question that we get. (laughs) So we are fortunate that with the team of agents that we work with, they actually pay for the staging. Okay. So they pay our invoice. So that's the biggest thing is I walk in like, this isn't going to cost you a dime as far as the stuff we're bringing in or having this conversation. Then the next thing is usually, okay, how much stuff am I going to have to remove from my house? Oh, I bet. You know, and you have to judge, you have to judge your audience and you have to judge your customers. And so some people are like, they're so excited about the process and they're so excited about watching their home being transformed. Cause I tell people all the time, it's like a walking HGTV episode it, right, is what is. we do. So if you trust us with that process and we tell people, you just have to trust it. We have a background, we have a track record, we have systems in, in place mm-hmm. to do this. And when they do, they just, they love it, you know, but then we have to gauge that, right? Cause some yeah. people are like, their arms are folded and they're like, I am not removing one thing. And so you, you have to make right. sure that you, I show them the before and after pictures. I go through and I give them scenarios to say, you don't have to, but I just want to show you what you can, you know, what your house right. or, or options for you. Do you ever get, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Now I want to stay. All the time. And then I'm always like, that's not part of the deal. That's not the deal. We don't get that choice here. I know. We actually are dealing with a customer right now that they have done so much to their house because they understood. They looked at the market and they Mm -hmm. understood like, okay, in, in current condition, they've lived there 25 years. They knew they had to invest some money into it. And so that I just had a walk through with a gentleman yesterday because the crews are about done. And he's like, I can't believe I waited till I'm <laughs> selling this to the house yeah. to look like this. Because again, he was thinking this renovation was going to be so expensive and it just doesn't have to be. So anyways, but yeah, we get that a lot. And, and, you know, speaking to that, I mean, yeah. we're in our houses, we're in there every day. Mm-hmm. We don't necessarily think about, oh, this needs to be replaced. And wouldn't it be great if this or that, oh, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait yeah. until then it's time to move. Mm-hmm. And we really didn't get to enjoy it, which is I the know. sad part. It is the sad, well, but I've done it. I mean, I do, I've done yeah. it so many times where we we're in a house and then we're like, okay, we're going to put it on the market. Well, get the new light fixtures, get the things that are in the garage <laughs> yeah. that have been sitting there forever. Right. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just the way it goes. It's right. It's life. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to go to a quick uh, break here, commercial break. And we will be right back talking with Kelly about design. Cool. That 15 minutes flew by. Oh. <laughs> like we could just grief. We could just chat forever. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, okay. So five so things to do before renovation. renovation. Um, and then mistakes people make decorating. Yeah, those are probably, two. those are, they'll take us to yeah. the end. I'm sure. We kind of talked about that. <sighs> Animal heads. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's not a 
shortage. No, I know. I always I sit down with <laughs> it's someone's it's, problem. Yeah, it's like it's our problem. Oh, <laughs> I said uh, we only had of all the design clients we've had, we've had one person that said, "I don't want anything blue in my house. I want woods, and greens, and animal print." Everybody else is like, "We're moving to Florida. We want the Florida lifestyle." Blues Do you still get? Lights. I want Tommy Bahama. Well, I had one gentleman this past more. weekend that just said, I really want a Tama Bahama house. And I said, no, you don't. And so because I saw a couple of pieces say, that he picked out. What's that? Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I was like. because Yeah, because I popped it up and like the time and he was thinking more like he Westy, but I'm like, that's not Tommy. Like yeah. Tommy Bahama is the oh, he's like, oh, and his wife was like, I have not want Tommy Bahama. So I was <laughs> like, well, cause I walked into the house and he'd already purchased like just a few things. And I was like, this is not Tommy Bahama. Mm. What are you talking oh, about? Somebody even branded Tommy Bahama? Like when he was like the things that he purchased? No, no uh, -uh no. But I mean, he posted, I mean, he bought blues and white. I was like, that oh, is not, no. uh -uh. it's not Tommy Bahama. No. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, but no, everybody that's here it's still the white, and I laugh because there was one designer who was like, "Oh, black hardware is just so out," and I'm like, "People are painting their house black." And that's what I said. I was like, yeah, "Are yeah. you kidding? Go down and look at these multi multi million dollar. They're using black hardware mm -hmm. everywhere. It just depends on who you talk to." Like designer thing that I see monthly on like our TikTok is like people are painting like the accent walls black. Mm -hmm. um, well, that like too, that yeah, like yeah, that's a new thing right now. Yeah. Like, and yeah, I know. I just, yeah, I know. Okay. All righty. All right. We're ready. Yes, ma'am. We good? Thanks again for tuning in. You're listening to the Fashionista Life brought to you by True Fashionistas. I'm your host, Jennifer Johnson, and we are here today with Kelly Rodrig, and we're talking about design. Yay. And so next up is yes. a checklist, five things that you should do before renovating. Oh, I wish everybody would just ask that question. Right? That <laughs> when you're in it, I'm it sure is. you're just, it, your head's it, spinning and you have no is. idea what to do next. Yeah. And we, the first thing I tell people is get on Pinterest. Oh, Start yes. Start cruising. And I tell them all the time, take a screenshot. It does not have to be this email. Long. I mean, I don't care if I get 30 pictures because a lot of times people are like, I don't know what I want. I'm like, mm -hmm. just send me pictures of what makes you happy. What you go, oh, I just love this yes. because- realistically, almost every picture they send me, there's a common thing, whether it's a white countertop, whether it's gray cabinets, whether it's gold, whether it's silver, what, I mean, I laugh because I'm like, go back and look at your pictures of what mm -hmm. makes you yes. happy. Makes sense. And it's based and they're like, oh, I like, yep. You like mm -hmm. shaker style cabinets. Yep. You like crazy backsplashes, but simple countertops. Like that's what I tell people all the time. Go cruise Pinterest because they have such great ideas. And so you're kind of making a mood board, design board mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yes. So you have something to go off. Of. Exactly. So you know what they like, what makes them right. happy. Well, quite frankly, it makes the whole design process that much it's just easier mm -hmm. because it's not like you go in and you're like, okay, because you go to a design center and you're like, okay, what do you like? Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, yeah. how do you pick between a hundred different tile samples? And you know what I mean? Like, it's just very overwhelming for people. So if we go in there with a little more of a plan, yes, it doesn't take as long and it's just not so overwhelming and frustrating for them through that process. Or for you. Uh, well, <laughs> right that now, is, oh that's gosh. exactly. Yes. And then I tell people the next step is clear out what you don't want. Just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Call Jennifer yes. over at True Fashionista. <laughs> exactly. We'll have to take care of that. Exactly. So I tell people all the time, if you don't like it, if you haven't used it, get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, is you're going to have this beautiful space and then you're going to be like, oh, mm -hmm. it's all decluttered. You know what I mean? And it's yes. just one less thing. You're doing it anyways. You might as well. And if it doesn't bring you joy, get then rid get of it. Get rid of it. Yes. yes. And then donate. Mm -hmm. I tell people all the time. So declutter, go do like, because quite frankly, I know I can, if I went right now into my junk drawer or into my bathroom cabinet, I could probably throw out half that's in there, mm -hmm. but I'm not intentional about it because I'm too busy doing other things. So if I know that my bathroom's going to be done 
clear out what you don't want. So when people are, it's just, it makes things easier. It does. You're not having to box up all the Egg. crap that you don't, you're going to be throwing yeah. away anyway. Anyways. And I'm the, I'm the weirdo because I am always, I guess it's just what I do. Yeah. I'm always cleaning closets. I'm always cleaning drawers. Can you I'm come to my house? <laughs> it's a thing. I, I swear <laughs> some days my husband looks at me, he's like, why, why, why are you choosing to clean out that cupboard right now? I'm I like, know. I don't know. It just struck me. I have yeah. To do it. I know. Well, it's funny. Cause you say that. Cause I'm thinking, Oh, it's almost summer break. I'm like, I'm going to tear apart ah. some kids rooms. And so. you won't because you'll get busy. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. I have the best intentions. I, know. <laughs> I, do, I, I can speak of it because I'm the same way. Exactly. The, the fourth thing I would say is get a timeline, sit down with your contractor, be realistic. So Especially we live now. in a different time yes. and a different, you know, as far as labor, as far as all of that kind of stuff, like get a realistic timeline to say, okay, hey, listen, how long do you think it's going to do backsplash? So say he says it takes two days in your mind, think three and a half, four, just because if something's wrong or, you know, we've had some people where we had a house where the whole crew end up getting sick mm -hmm. and then it was, we are five days behind. There's nothing you can do. Yeah. Or supply chain issues, which um, we all, everybody's yeah. had that. Exactly. And I know when we did the build out on our new store, mm -hmm. we were very lucky. Well, you know, but, but see, that's my number five thing is I make sure all materials are in before we start. Oh, because otherwise it just feels Be like it's dragging on. And no. On. And then what happens if you've torn apart your kitchen? Mm -hmm. Oh, you have to eat out every night. Right. And so. Oh, no. I know. Right. And, well, wait a second. I Maybe I need to rethink this process. <laughs> We're going to wait with the kitchen. I know. Oh, I know. Wait a order. second. I know. Maybe I don't. I need to rethink this. Um, but yeah, so I make sure. So for instance, we just redid just a small little hall bath for a client. And so, you know, it was like, it took three weeks before we could get the wallpaper in. It took oh, another, wow. you know, week before the light fixtures because of the supply chain mm -hmm. issues. So that's so why I told her, I said, okay, everything's in. It's Monday. We're going to start. By Friday, it was all done. Her yes. new countertops were in. Her, uh, the whole thing had been painted, the new hardware, the new light fixtures, the wallpaper, like everything. She goes, that was so easy. Inconvenienced like, once. Exactly. Kind of thing. Instead of... Okay, well, we just did the, we just painted everything, but you have no countertop now. So mm -hmm. this bathroom's done. I mean, like, I'm just a firm believer. Let's get all the materials in place. Let's have it. And then let's start the project. Not peacefully. So, exactly. Make sure that stone that you pick, the fabricator has it. He's not four weeks out. Because what happens if we're done with what we are right. doing? And then the fabricator's like, I'm four weeks out. So sorry. I mean, so it's just, it's, again, it's that timeline. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that it's structured and that there's a rhyme or reason to everything. Yep. Wow. So that would be my top five things. They're solid. Doing. Well, thank solid. you. <laughs> so, I mean, I love the one about let's not piecemeal. Let's just wait till everything Things is in. in. Because then it's then it's not, oh my gosh, you know, we mm -hmm. renovated. I hear this all the time. Oh, I renovated this or that. And, oh, I could not believe it. It was like this came mm -hmm. in, but then this, and it took like two months and, oh, we didn't have a kitchen for that or whatever it was. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they complain about that. Right. And Whereas, so I, I know. I just remove that. That's what I tell people. I said, it might be frustrating up front, but you're going to appreciate me at the end mm -hmm. because we're also not, you know, I mean, people have got crazy schedules or if they let people in the house and doing all that, like you just set aside, like, here's what it is. And then people, our contractors aren't going in and out of your house for months on end trying to finish things. Awesome. So yeah, those are valuable tips. Well, thank you. So mistakes. Well, let's <laughs> oh, and I'm going to share mine with you. I, I just, I did on the break here, but um, mistakes that people make when decorating. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to share mine with you. Okay. So I get on a trend. So mm -hmm. I, I just referenced shabby chic because back in the day I loved shabby and there's still shabby chic. Oh yeah, on, absolutely. Okay? Yeah. But I would get on a kick of like, oh my gosh, I love shabby chic. Yeah. And then before you know it, <laughs> every room in the house had shabby chic stuff in it. Or my husband wouldn't call it stuff. He'd call it crap or yeah. worse. But uh -huh. um, I would just be like, oh, let's sprinkle shabby chic here and there and everywhere. And, yes. you know, right. that's my thing. Yeah. But but what are other mistakes that people make? Well, you know, I think also, too, it's your home, right? I mean, you have to love your space. You have to be happy where you are. Um, now can you go overboard a little bit? Oh, you know, you know, maybe you can, <laughs> you know what I mean? But mm. here's the thing though. I also personally for me, well, some people like really eclectic, like where this mm -hmm. room is black and white and then this one is green and purple. I mean, we redid a house because they were trying to sell it where it was. Every room was a different color. Some people love that. 
Um, and again, if that's what you love, that's what you love. So I don't feel like is, there's absolutely some do's and don'ts as far as decorating goes. But I'm also firm. If that makes you happy, then do it. Then do yeah. it. Different you strokes know? for different folks. Absolutely. It might not be something that I would personally do in my home, but if you go, you know what? I I flip and love my green <laughs> and black zebra room. You go enjoy your black and green zebra right. room. You know what I mean? So um, my big thing on that, though, is just not mixing so many patterns. So if you want to have some bold colors and stuff, one pattern is fantastic, but not like crazy pattern after crazy pattern. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know so what I'm seeing in my head, zebra and <laughs> cheetah in the same room. <laughs> right, exactly. Or that, and then like a stripe. I mean, it's just, mm -hmm. there's certain things, you know, that you're just not gonna, you're not gonna wanna do. And it's funny because my girlfriend, she um, sent me a text message the other day because she saw one of my Instagram stories and she's like, wait a second, can I have two different patterns of rug in the same room? I'm like, yes, you can. I said, you just have to make sure that it matches, not quote the same rug, but it just needs to flow. Mm -hmm. And I said, you just don't, again, you don't want to put a green and then a purple rug right next to each other. Right. You need to have kind of the same colorway, you know, going on. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that's what I was telling her. Also, it depends on your budget, right? So I tell people stick neutral with your big furniture pieces. Because you can always change out pillows and accessories mm -hmm. and artwork. That is minimal. I say invest in really good furniture that's going to last you a while and then go crazy on your pillows. So if it's a, a navy trend, deck the whole house out in your navy trends and everything. Then all of a sudden you're like, I am so sick of navy. <laughs> then the green's in. Guess mm -hmm. what? Your overall, most of your big pieces are neutral and you can have a blast doing that and decorating. So now if your budget is unlimited, then that's a different story. Right. But a lot of times we do get people that say, okay, I have X amount of dollars to spend. What, what do I do? you know, how do we, how do we accomplish that designer look without having to buy all new stuff? So I tell people all the time, go neutral on your big pieces. Makes sense. Yeah. So then you can, you can be as trendy as you want, however you want. And, and maybe, you know, maybe you're switching out pillows, but then you add a different little side table. Exactly. Or a and that's or a lamp. Then that's again, that those are minimal, especially nowadays. There's so many great websites. There's so many great oh local store. I mean, there's so, I mean, our resources are unbelievable nowadays. I so I remember seeing your vehicle once when you went on a shopping trip. And like, <laughs> I'm not judging. Kelly. I'm not judging, but you got a lot in there, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think the record was 10 carts at <laughs> home goods. And so, That's and it was, I saw it. That's yes, saying. exactly. So we had like, I don't know. I think we had like we were just staging an insane amount of homes. It was like this crazy month where everything was going on. And I'm like, we just needed a lot of stuff. And so when we went in, you would not, everyone was like, what <laughs> is going on? And I'm like, excuse me, can I have another cart? Okay. This one's for Kelly. And they're looking and we didn't have our shirts on. Cause normally a lot you of times should. we have, I know, <laughs> right. It looks like you're, you know, I'm, I'm, Porter squad. <laughs> exactly. Well, the funny thing was, is we went to go check out the store manager, the general manager. She knows who I am in there. And so she was like, if this was anyone other than you, we would be like, what? Because of the return policy, you know, oh. you, you can, we don't return anything. <laughs> and so she's like, we love you because we know it's not. And then the, the checkout girl was like, do you have a vehicle big enough for this? I'm like, girl, I got that under control. <laughs> do we have to carry all this out for you? Uh, I'm like, funny. we have our squad. Don't you worry. But you that know. is really funny. I, uh -huh. I vividly remember seeing just heaping carts. Yes. I'm like, I know oh, it's so much fun. I want to know what people are thinking. <laughs> I know. Right. I know. I laugh all the time. I joke around because the other day we had to go to one of the big stores to, for a design client. I'm like, some people call this shopping. We call it work, you <laughs> yeah, know, because exactly. we get to, we get to shop all the time. That's so true. I know. Um, anything else you want to add on mistakes? You know, go back to the same thing. It's your home. You know, if you love your space, I'd say just don't get too crazy or too or too trendy on things that you think, do I really love this? Because if you're going to be really trendy, you've got to love it because it's it's trendy. It's going to be in and it's going to be out. And that's the thing. So I'm I like classic looks. I like um, sleek. You know, I wish to say sleek, but I like I like timeless looks because but I I change out accessories all the time. So that would probably be my, 
my biggest thing. And that's great advice. Well, thank you. Absolutely great advice. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so Kelly, let's say our listeners want to get a hold of you to yes. do staging or design. How do they do that? All righty. Well, I would love, or my team would love to chat with you. If you would like, you can give us a call at 239 227 nine five five seven or if you'd like to email me you can at kelly at style two with a t-o design.com or you can check out some of our looks on instagram at style homes to sell that's it awesome yeah fabulous well, well thank you this has been so cool I, I i think i have to have you come to my house now <laughs> <laughs> well thank you for having me but um so thank you again and i Absolutely. know that we've all learned a lot um and we'll also put all of your information in our comment section i appreciate um, it so that our customers are able our our listeners yes. are able to to get a hold of you and thanks again for tuning into the fashionista life brought to you by true fashionistas and make your day fabulous <laughs>